Hi guys, this is Dr. Brian Off from Off Family Chiropractic right here in St. Francis. And have you ever wondered why some people seem to get sick while others don't? Some, and some people seem to hold on to sickness a lot longer than others. Well, watch this video and I'll tell you why. So you would think that everybody's immune system would be able to fight off any bug that it comes in contact with. You would think that, but where is our immune system located? Well, 70% of our immune system is located in our gut. So what does that mean? It means that if you have poor gut health, you have a poor immune system. Doesn't that make sense? So it really makes it hard to stay healthy. So what do you need to do? Well, we wanna start at the top because our immune system really starts in our mouth. So we have good bacteria and we have bad bacteria that helps fight off some of the things that would come in contact with our food and our environment. Next, stomach acid in a lot of people is very, very low. People with anxiety, people who don't eat a very good diet, those types of things will lower our stomach acid. The number one selling drug often is um, stomach acid reducing drugs. So you can see where those people would be more susceptible to any kind of illness like a virus that gets into their system. Next, gallbladder function is decreasing as well. If you have poor stomach acid, you're not gonna have a gallbladder that functions. You need the bile in that gallbladder to act like soap to help soap up the environment inside your gut where that immune system is. So if you continually overwhelm that immune system, you're gonna get sick, you just can't fight that stuff off. Lastly, uh, nutrient deficiencies. We live in Minnesota, we don't get a lot of sunlight, so we get a lot of vitamin D deficiency, which de further decreases our immune system and has been linked to so many other things. So. What should we do going forward knowing all this information? Well, let's improve our digestion, right? Improve the health of the gut. So I like to use some hydrochloric acid with people and give, give some gallbladder support to help with that aspect up in the front side where, the, where you'd be more likely to get a virus to sneak into your system and not be able to fight it off. Next, obviously some vitamin D, right? Let's take some vitamin D. We should probably be taking it all year round because during the summer, when it gets too hot or if you're working all day, you're not out in the sun. We get about six weeks, six weeks of usable sunlight. Um, vitamin A is also very good in helping to fight viruses. So getting our vitamin A in on a daily basis will help with that as well. Taking a daily probiotic, right? Having good bugs that help our immune system build themselves up and then feed those bugs with some fiber. Eating some vegetables, super important. So make sure when you're munching on things, we don't go after the car, we go after the vegetable that's crunchy, okay? Lastly, um, we wanna do a full support of that, that digestive system. So like I said, the hydrochloric acid um, and that gallbladder support. We like to have our patients take a couple of um, things during their meals so that they can help break down that food so they can get as most amount of nutrients out of their food as possible. So if you know somebody who's really dealing with, or yourself is dealing with, why am I sick all the time? Definitely give our office a call. We can get your health back to where it needs to be. This is Dr. Brian Opp from Opp Family Chiropractic. Hope you enjoyed this message.